Hi guys, welcome to Wednesday Quickie, a review with some fish. I got some swai fillets in there. I love this fish. If you can find it, it is delicious. House Autry Southern Style Shrimp and Fish Fry Mix. All it says is to get the fish uh, wet, shake off the excess moisture, and uh, cook the shrimp or seafood with the breading. Oh yeah, so this is the Batter Pro. Okay, if you guys have never seen this, I know y'all have seen it, my subscribers. A lot of you have purchased it and you love it, so it's the best thing in the world to me. It's three pieces, it's got the strainer, two of these pieces, and you just shake it back and forth and it coats the food without any clumpiness or stickiness or... I got this at Walmart. It was like a buck something, I can't even tell you. Oops, actually I was gonna do this. Doesn't matter. Actually, I, let me do it this way so I know how much I need. That looks about right. Probably half the bag. I'm making fish tacos, so nothing serious. I'm not going to zhuzh it up or nothing. I've got a coleslaw that I've already made and a nice sauce. Adobe ch uh, chipotle peppers at Adobe. Is it Adobe? Adobo. <laughs> We've been searching cameras all day. Okay. You just clamp that on. I'm going to put a link to uh, my uh, blackened fish tacos. And in that video, it's got the recipe for the uh, coleslaw and that sauce. Okay? If you're interested. Shake it back and forth. Okay. Let's check it out. There you go. That's it. Let me smell this first. It smells pretty plain. Yeah. So let's, I don't know. Maybe it'll knock my socks off when I'm tasting it, but it just tastes, smells plain. Let me reposition the air fryer and we'll fry this fish. I'll be right back. All right. So I took the paddle out. You can use a flat pan for this. It's all up to you. I just had that in there. So I'm going to spray some olive oil on the bottom. That's the Evo sprayer. Fill that up with olive oil. I've got it comes in a pack of two. The other one's filled with Sang stir fry oil. That's delicious. But we're not trying to change the flavor of this breading because it's Sang's got some. Um, it's infused with garlic and herbs. So let's put the fish in there. Fits three good fillets in there. I really, don't, I don't smell nothing spectacular with this. So. But that's what I'm here for. I'm here to review it for you. All right. My rule is, I'm gonna fry it for a couple minutes, usually five minutes, but fish, that thing is not gonna take very long, probably, I'm guessing about six, eight minutes. So probably three minutes in, I'm gonna spray the top with the aerosol can, which I usually use olive oil aerosol can, but I've got canola oil, so I'll use that. So fry it for a couple minutes, and then spray it, and then fry it. I'll tell you the total cooking time. Bottom on, top on at four. We're frying fish. Like All right, guys. So that was about 10 minutes. I have done a house hodgery fish batter, and it was a, it's called the seafood batter. This is said shrimp and fish. So I thought it was going to be a little bit more spectacular. It has the same color as the other stuff. Kind of bland looking, but let's give it a shot. I don't know. It's for fish tacos too, so you know that's another thing. I have a spicy um, sauce and a, a very flavorful coleslaw that goes in the fish tacos, so I don't need a whole lot of flavor in the fish. So it could be good for that, but as per se, just like this. Let's. I don't know. Oh, if you want to see the bottom, this is what my air fryer does. Cooks the bottom as well, so there's no flipping. All right. Yeah. This is what I thought. It's not bad. But it's not like Joe's Gourmet Fish Fry. By far is the best so far. I've tried quite a few of these fish fries. So it's. <laughs> If you're doing a big old fish fry and you just don't care, I mean, you know, it's just pretty bland, pretty basic. But it'll be good for fish tacos, like I said. You don't have a heavy batter and I'm tasting the fish. The fish is good. 
nice and crispy so they gave it a nice crisp flavor wise meh so I'm gonna say hmm I'm just gonna say a four I mean it's just plain plain and simple I haven't gone below a four yet so it's not bad but it's not the best okay hope that helps all right thanks for shopping bye bye